In today's video, we show Michael one thing that completely transforms his consistency with his irons. Absolutely, now everybody needs to check this to take your game to the next level. Keep watching. All right, so we're on the 14th hole here with Michael, and if you want to improve your irons like we know Michael is going to, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Yes, and also check out our free video series in the description covering every aspect of your game. It's totally free, so make sure you check it out after you've watched this video. I've already seen you warm up. I know what I'm gonna do already, but I wanna <laughs> see a few more shots. Let's hit a few to, the, to this flag. We're about 150 yards away, and let's just uh, hit a few shots and we'll go from there. So the consistency, you mentioned the sort of off camera, the consistency of the direction for you is the important thing. It's just a little yeah. bit mixed in what you're, what you're doing, yeah? Yeah, and like that there, was, I know it was before the ball. Yeah. So I'm hoping that it can be after the ball. Okay, yeah, so that ground, <laughs> ground first is sort of letting you down as well, yeah? You know what you want. <laughs> I know what it should be. I just don't know how to get there. Nice shot. Yeah, it's nice. Very good. It's going to be really simple today and I think we're going to make some, some big differences. I think the key thing with this, and we talked about this before, a lot of people doing, are doing this. So when you've watch, you watched this video, make sure you take a look to see if you're doing this. So let's take a look at the, uh, the golf swing for us then here. What we're going to notice is that the club moves back nicely, but we're just going to take a look at what happens on the way down. Notice what's going on on the way down here. See where the club is? Yeah. So the club swings back considerably over the top yeah. and this can cause <laughs> us on this one, hits the hose yeah. under the club and goes out. So this is a, 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 one of the causes of the strike. We look at the front view here, mm -hmm. is basically because we have very, very little hip turn. Okay. We've got almost no hip turn. From this down the line view again here, as you swing back, the arms do an amazing job, but look and see the hips now, yeah, yeah. there's zero hip turn. Mm -hmm. And when, we, when we've got no hip turn in the back swing, yep. We've got no space for the club to swing down on a good path. So when I look at your golf swing, I go, we're gonna make some big changes from one focus, okay. and that's literally just on how we pivot the hips. If we get a good, we talk about it so often. <laughs> I'm just, we're just laughing, aren't we? <laughs> if you <laughs> we can know. move these better, you are going to be a better golfer. So some people are just not even thinking about that. Yeah. So if we do a good job on the way back, it's gonna make a big difference. So a couple of things I wanna do, we're gonna do make a, a, do a couple of things in the setup, one thing in the golf swing. I always like to do this alignment. Let's get yourself aligned up first of all. The other thing I'm gonna do, is you've got a belt on, haven't you? Okay, I'm not gonna spike you. I'm just gonna put it through here and then here. Brave man letting him do that. I'd have there asked to do it myself. Okay. <laughs> and all I'd like you to do for me is just take your setup as you would normal. So all I want you to do now is do your normal backswing for me, Michael. Just normal backswing and stop. Okay, so if you hold it there for us now, this is hardly moved. Yeah, the yeah. belt buckle is still facing forward. What we're gonna do is unlock that today. The left arm is across the chest. Haven't really moved the core. So what I'd like you to do, club across your shoulders for me like this. Lean in your golf posture as if you're gonna play a shot. Good, I'm just gonna get right across the top of the shoulders here. Lean forward a bit more in your posture. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna create the pivot for you. What, what, we're gonna notice the difference. As we swing back, I want you to allow your hips to turn with me. Eyes down on the ball, where the ball will be. Okay, now. Oh, hello. Different feeling? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> look at the difference in how much this is moving now. Yeah. Now we've got some freedom and, and room in this area which is gonna massively influence how you, how you deliver the club. Feel different? Yeah. Okay, good, let's do that again. So we're really allowing the hips to move with the torso, keep that resistance in the right leg for me. There you go. So now this is, it's gonna transform the downswing because now we've got room to swing the club from a good uh, path closer to plane is what we, where we wanna see it. I feel different, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Different. Something you've not thought about? Yeah. Okay, and you can see that you've been thinking about the downswing almost because everything's about yeah. trying to get into this leg as opposed to making sure we get do a good job on the way back first. So let's do a back swing now with the alignment stick in. We'll do it without uh, hitting the golf ball. All I want you to do is swing to the top. Just see if we can recreate the same feeling. Nice and slow. Okay, good. keep that right leg nice and solid for me. There you are, there, there's a resistance. Mm -hmm. Feel the difference? Yeah. Good, hold it there, eyes down. There you go. Feel the difference. Now we can start to feel some tension. Can feel some muscles working that he never knew he had, which is good. <laughs> We've got a great hip turn Stay there. Stay there for 10 Perfect. more minutes. Okay. And again for me. <laughs> and again. Good, and again for me. I just want to go a little slower. I want to go a little slower and I want to keep a little bit of resistance in that right leg. Slow, slow, slow. Good. Eyes down. There you go. Feel that now. The tension building, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Big difference in how much this is moving. Great drill that you can do at home, this is. And again, nice and slow. Just feel that rotation. Okay. There you go. Love that. 
See how the awareness you had in the leg as well at that, there, yeah? Such a big difference as well when you slow things down. That's the best way to learn. You wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't try and learn at high speed something new. You Let's sometimes got to slow it down to start. Start again for us. Nice and slow. Good. Eyes down. There you go. I feel it's a big pivot, isn't it? Yeah. It's more than you more than you've been feeling, yeah? Way more than I ever thought. <laughs> okay, good. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start again, but now I want you to combine it with a through swing as well. Beautiful. Good. How's that feel? Different. Different, good. Yeah. Notice here we're not hitting lots of balls either. We're not gonna get into a golf ball until he starts to feel comfortable with, oh, I've got the, yeah, I know what that feels like. You know, it's, it's very hard, not quite. Yeah, the last thing you wanna do here is video your golf swing and see that you're not turning and then just go, oh, I'll just turn and just hit a shot straight away because what we'll do is you'll hit a bad shot and you go, oh, that didn't work for me. Whereas this way, Andy's not really giving him much chance to fail. He wants him to move and wants him to get the motion and then we'll slowly introduce him to hitting shots. Club back on the shoulders. Sometimes we can lose the feeling and what Piers mentioned <laughs> there. We want to sort of go back to something that's going to recreate the right movement. So lean forward in the posture. Good, eyes down where my foot is. This is where the ball is. Okay, eyes down. Good, a little bit of tension in that right leg, just a touch. There you go. Okay, feel that resistance now, yeah? Yep. So we really, <laughs> yep, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, I do. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> and breathe. He can't breathe, but he can feel it. <laughs> okay, lean forward, good. Okay, rotate now again. So now we're actually just, it, it's, it's a lot more free. We've got more motion. We've got a much better pivot at the hips. A bit more um, stability in that right leg for me. There you go, feel that resistance now, I can feel that. Good, now let's go back into the hands. Same feeling, back and through now. Okay, lovely. <laughs> you need to buy some more teas, I found one. <laughs> you can tell we don't play that much golf, we've got one tea in the tea bag. All I'm gonna do as well, something that I've also noticed from a setup side of things, is where your ball position is. So I'm gonna leave this here. This is how the great thing you can do, just to build some confidence in the motion. Take your setup. I wanna see that the ball position is slightly ahead of center. You were moving yours a little bit too far back in the stance. A little wider stance. Okay. Good. Right, I'm taking this off now and let's have a go. Not bothered about the ball, don't care, I don't care where this ball goes. I just want to see you can create a good pivot motion with these hips. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Strike wise, how did it feel? Um, smoother than usual. Smoother than usual, okay, yeah. nice. In terms of power as well. You know, if we can create more of a, a pivot, this is going to increase the length of the backswing, increase the, the speed that we're going to create with the club. Good. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I really wish we'd have videoed that oh. one. Now, do, what do you know? You can about, do that again. What do you notice about the distance on that? Uh, it's gone the distance that it, <laughs> it should. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so much, I mean, the direction was great. Yeah. The strike was good, the distance was good. Yeah. That's that's what the power of just unlocking this yeah. hip motion can do for you. The only problem is Sean didn't put a green cam down there. That's about four feet, that is. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's good. A little left, but that's good. So I would set your station up when you get to the range, like this. Yep. You've got your alignment for the ball to target line, yep. ball position in line just ahead of the center, and then you focus. Maybe get a little closer now. Your focus now is just to create that good Hip motion on the way back. Very nice. The downswing will be better as a result of what you're doing here. You'll start to see things, you'll start to move, sequence better. I wouldn't think about the downswing until you feel really comfortable with what's going on. Let's, let's just show you the difference here and you'll see on screen here, guys, unbelievable difference. Look at the hips now. Yeah. Big turn of the hips, we can see daylight between the knees. Yeah. Nice full swing, your arms do an incredible job. Watch what happens on the way down now. Now you've got room, so your club now comes back pretty much smack on plane, yeah. in line with the hands at this point. This was a, a decent strike. So it's slightly left because of the club face, but in terms of your swing direction here, this is what's going to make you consistent. So many golfers come to us and they're nowhere near this. Yeah. You're at the early stages. If you can consistently ingrain this, you're in a great place. Massive difference, but just by doing this, and I think a lot of you guys will be doing this at home as well, it's the one thing that you need to check. A good hip motion can just change the game, yeah. can't it? For sure, for sure. Unbelievable, amazing work from Michael there. And I don't forget, if you wanna knock five shots off your score, click the link down in the description, five shots lower is gonna do exactly that. We'll see you next week.